I'll be teaching you how to prepare lunch in under 45 minutes. The first dish we are going to do is the peppermint fruits and vegetable broth. Here are some of the main ingredients required for this dish. I prefer using the raw virgin coconut oil over other oils because it's more healthy. And here are the optional condiments I use to flavor my soup. And I'm adding peppermint essential oil. You may use minced leaves if you can. And I'm adding some mixed brown rice to make it filling. Let's get started! Firstly, wash your ingredients. I love using a fruit and veggie wash to wash my vegetables in order to get rid of pesticides efficiently. Next up, I'll rinse my brown rice. Next up, we'll proceed with chopping our vegetables. I'm not very skilled at doing this because I'm still a beginner at cooking, but yep, it doesn't need to be perfect. You just need to chop it into smaller pieces. Does chopping onions make you tear all the time? Well, here's a hack for you! If you have a diffuser, simply diffuse some of the citrusy essential oils such as um, lemon, orange and grapefruit. It helps keep you tear-free and makes your kitchen smells real good. I've preheated my rice cooker beforehand and added some raw virgin coconut oil into it. So now I'm adding my chopped garlic and going to stir fry it till it smells pretty good before adding my chopped onions into the rice cooker as well. And I'm going to just stir fry the both of them till they turn a little bit golden brown. Next up, I'll add the rest of my ingredients into the rice cooker and let it simmer for a while. I'm just going to add more water into the rice cooker till it covers all my ingredients and I'm going to add my mixed brown rice into the mixture. So now I'm going to add the rest of my condiments into the mixture and not forgetting my chopped tofu. Over here, I'm using peppermint essential oil in a replacement for fresh minced leaves. It tastes refreshing, smells good, but um, one thing to note is that you have to ensure that the grade of your essential oil has to be really pure and it has to be safe for consumption before you use it for your cooking, otherwise you might you know, suffer from poisoning. Right now, I'm just going to set my rice cooker to soup mode before coming back to check it out. It takes approximately 30 minutes for the soup to be ready and when open, oh, it smells so heavenly! The next yummy dish we are going to prepare is honey lemon chicken. Preparing this dish is real simple. All you need is some squeezy honey, lemon essential oil or lemon juice, dark soya sauce and some chicken drumlets. Firstly, I'll preheat my air fryer at 180 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. Then I'll be marinating my chicken with dark soya sauce and I'll dilute it with some water to make sure that it's not too salty. Over here, I'm just poking some holes using my fork to ensure that the dark soya sauce gets penetrated into my chicken drumlets. 
Then I'll just squeeze some honey into the mixture to ensure that my chicken drumlets get glazed in honey. Next up, I'll be adding some lemon essential oil into the mixture in replacement for my lemon juice. Um, approximately 2 to 3 drops will do because lemon essential oil is very concentrated. And um, you have to ensure that the lemon essential oil that you're using is pure enough and safe for consumption. marinating the chicken drumlets, I will just put um, the baking tray back into the air fryer and let it air fry for a good 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. After 10 minutes in the air fryer, I will just open it up and toss the chicken drumlets a little before loading it back and let it cook for another 10 minutes. The chicken drumlet should look a little bit um, caramelized when cooked and it smells really good. I do hope that you can try this recipe out and let me know how you think. Please rate, comment and subscribe. Bye bye!